Hey everybody, it's Margo, and today I'm going to give you a few tips about Legion that I thought would be useful starting out. Just little stuff, but I mean, important stuff, right? And the first one being is start your profession quest immediately. Most of the professions are in this area right here, and just start them off right away. There's no reason for you to hesitate, because a lot of these quests, you will complete almost all of it through your leveling. So you may as well start right now, and then by the time you hit level 110, you're all ready to do heroics and you're, well, I mean, you're, the quests will be for you to do heroics, so you'll already be at that point. Um, it just saves you a bit of time and you can focus more on, you know, the main stuff, right? As opposed to going back into Azuna just to do a quest right here or something. It's just a little stuff. I mean, you will be going back to Azuna to do the world quests anyways, but I just feel like it saves more time, more time overall. And again, then you can be on par with your professions at the same time as your level. So, that's a little thing. Just, like, almost every profession does start in Azuna. Like, very, very few don't. So, that's just something to note, too. Um, you will almost, on every alt, be starting in Azuna if you follow the path of your professions. So, yeah. Azuna. Mostly the main starter zone. Um, another little tip. It's... Again, most of your professions will take you into the dollar and sewers at one point too. And just to avoid the PvP, um, I went over it a few times in other videos, but in case you missed those, just to avoid it, if you don't want to fight, right, I will be that guy that's ganking you. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to happily be jumping on lobbies all day, and I'm sorry, but I want that rat mount. Um, if you don't want to get ganked, right, just come talk to Wraith in here. You enter it through the sewers, you know, come right down here, talk to Raythan, and say, hey, I want to hire a guard. It's five gold for five minutes. The profession quests in the sewers usually take no time at all. In the five minutes, you should be done. Easily done. And then you just don't have to get worry about PvP, right? Even though it's not active right now, look... We can activate it. Time to take a break, sewer guards. And I bet you some people are killing this rare right here. Look. Look, a couple people there. A couple lobies. Let's show you what, what happens when you don't take the sewer guard, right? This is what you regret not taking the sewer guard later, see? You just regret it. It's it's a bad decision. Don't forget the sewer guard. And uh, your life will be better off. So, another tip. Finish your zones, right? finish all of the zones you get a lot of reputation for the zone so if there's something you want to buy for the from that vendor in that zone just finish them you'll you'll use it all later and it, you know the zones scale with your level so even if you're 104 by the time you finish azuna which is not going to happen mind you but let's say you were um when you started there and you were at the end of it and it's 104 it's going to give you stuff like your level 104 so there's no point in you not finishing your zone there um i'll tell you though it took me almost every quest to hit 110 i had to do almost all the quests in stormheim high mountain valshara and azuna before i hit 110 and uh it did take a lot of xp but there is a lore master of legion right just like every other expansion and it's part of if we go into legion exploration here broken isle pathfinder lore master of legion is one of the things it increases your mount speed it's not flying flying doesn't come until the first major patch but it does increase your mount speed so you will be moving around a little faster and it does require lore master so you may as well knock it out early it'll just save you time in the end right if you just didn't skip any quests in azuna and then you don't got to find where you're at on the quest chain blah 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 you'll be all right just finish the quest and get the lore master unlocked for that zone and then move on um the mount speed. I don't know how fast it is, and I couldn't find it, and I tried my best to finish it, but I can't finish Good Samaritan in the beta, so I don't, I don't know. I'm, I think it's like 30%. You know, I think I remember reading that somewhere, but I'm not positive. So anyways, it will help though. Mount speed, a little faster. Can't complain about that. And lastly, another tip is when you're in a zone, most of the zones require honored for you to buy this, but there are shoulder enchantments in every zone. Shoulder enchantments, like the one I'm wearing here, it's called gem finding, came from Azuna. 
These shoulder enchantments give you bonus bags, and usually they require honor. Like, I'm, I'm, I know most of them are honored, some of them are revered, but again, most of them are honored. And by the time I finished High Mountain, I was able to buy the shoulder enchantment at like 106, because I got honored by finishing just all the chain, the chain quests. And um, that's just something else. Let's say you started in High Mountain. After you finish, you'll most likely be honored, and then you can get that shoulder enchantment and wear it while you're leveling. That's bonus money. You're just going to get bonus whatever the shoulder enchantment gives. Like, the the high mountain one gives food. It's butchery enchantment. So you'll get a ton of meat and fish and food. It's just bonus money. You're going to use those materials when you hit 110 anyway. Maybe you're, you know, you're going to use them yourself. Or you could sell them. Just slap on a shoulder enchantment after you finish the zone. Go talk to the vendor there. Uh, it takes a few minutes. The shoulder enchantments are, like, uh, you know, only 100 gold around. And you're going to make way more than that from the materials as you're leveling. I promise you. Because no matter what, even if you get an upgrade for your shoulder, if you don't want to spend another 100 gold slapping on another shoulder enchantment, just leave the old shoulder on and just use it while you're leveling. It's not going to affect you that much. And you're going to make a ton of gold while doing so. So anyways... Those are a couple last minute tips. I know they aren't super important, but I feel like they'll be really, you know, helpful at the beginning of Legion at least. I hope. I don't know. I just want to help out, guys. So, hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.